Five tackles. It's a loss of three. It's second and 13. Nims under pressure. Tucker has him, and down he goes. Finished off by Costner Ching. And the Bison defense all over the Valpo line to start. In the loss to Indiana Wesleyan, which saw the Beacons fall behind. 28-0 in this one. Not a great kick. It's fielded off the hop by Jaden Price. He's got a head of steam. Price had one last week, and he's got a touchdown this week. Jaden Price. We'll line up for two. This is Cam Miller, backup quarterback. We'll get into the end zone on the two-point play. That lineup they have used since Maddox has taken over as head coach. With five split out wide for the Bison. Patterson under pressure. He's going to take it himself. He's got a first down before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Bison offense. They officially give him eight. And right on cue, here's Hunter Lipke. Nearly breaking free out to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a Bison first down. And again, they go hurry up. 90 pounds. I thought he ran really hard. Patterson to throw for the first time. Zings that one to guess who? Lipke over the middle, down to the 28-yard line, a gain of 10 and a Bison first down. Eight-yard line, first and 10 now from the Valpo 28. Little reverse to Braylon Henderson. Henderson's got a seam. Henderson for six. The Plano native into the end zone for a touchdown. Ohio State, Alabama offered him. He gets the call on second and out and eight. He gets to the outside here for he's knocked out of bounds. Close to the first down marker. Play clock down to four. Down to two. Barely get it off in time. Here come the Bison. Oh, wow. And down he goes. That ball is a rule of fumble right now. It's loose. It's scooped up and out of bounds at the one yard line. It was Tutsi who picked up the loose ball. There was never a whistle thrown. Heads up play. Jackson Hankey Hank just comes completely, just yeah, untouched. completely free. And if he didn't get him, there's about a host of other buys in there to get it. But this is what you're taught as a defensive player. Go pick it up. You never know. After conversing with the other officials, it's been determined that the quarterback's progress was stopped mm. prior to him releasing the football. It'll be fourth down. In this first quarter. Patterson with lots of room. Here's Quincy Patterson. Cuts back in, got a block, still on his feet. Now they say he's out of bounds down the sideline. And we got to see some of the explosiveness that he showed in the ACC last year. They'll go to Lipke. Look at the hole there. Bounces to the outside. Touchdown, Bison. Lipke. Lipke, four carries, 55 yards and a touchdown to start things. On offense, the toss on the jet sweep to Christian Watson. Look out! There he goes! Touchdown! 65 yards for the Florida Speedster. Last May, here's the pitch to Bussey on third down. Look at this! Jalen Bussey! So long! It's another Tampa touchdown for the Bison! 72 yards. Mims had time, rolls out, gets that one to Bingham. Goes up the sideline, he's got the first down. Fort here on fourth and five. Nims over the middle to Washington. He's got the first down. Out to the 37 yard line. Three year starter in high school. On a second down, Nims slings that, caught by Contreras who got open, he fumbled the ball. It's loose, and it looks like the Bison got to it first. Contreras really got hit hard. A completed catch followed by a fumble, which was recovered by the defense. First down, North Dakota State. Dom, I was just about to say how, how good of a play that looked like for Nims. It looked like his most confident throw of the day as we haven't seen him throw it a ton. Again, Williams on the carry, driving forward and picks up a Bison first down. Out of first down. Look at the time for Patterson over the middle to Watson. Watson springs loose and down to the Valpo 45 yard line. They'll go to work from the 45. Watson slipped there and down he goes. He lost his balance. 
to their own 48-yard line. It'll be a second down and 17. Clock running. Patterson gets out of there. He's going to take it himself, and he's got some room. Quincy Patterson down the sidelines. This is going to be a touchdown. He turned nothing into something there. I thought was really good last week. Had three punts that were inside the 20. In his first attempt today, good kick. Big tackle, that's a fumble. Talbert got the hit, and it's recovered by the Bison inside the five-yard line. Hello. And how fitting that Destin Talbert and Jaden Price are the two guys in on this play. I mean, two guys we've been saying all day on special teams. State from the Valpo three. Up the middle with Williams into the end zone for his first career. Bison touchdown for Tameric Williams. Crust down in distance. Nims in trouble, able to get out of there, still on his feet. Cuts back over the field, takes a big time hit too from Mason Hofstead where he's brought down at the 34 yard line and picks up a Valpo first down. It's a gain of 12 position. It's not till you're about your third year in the program you feel like maybe you're ready to contribute. Nims under pressure, hit as he threw. There's no whistle here as that's picked up by Wisniewski. That's still a live ball. And down at the 27 yard line. There was no whistle on the play. We the play that looks like a fumble because there was never a blown as an incomplete yep. pass. And that's the right thing to do because once you ruling blow. Ruling on the field was an incomplete pass. Now they're ruling incomplete. Brings okay. up fourth down. Because, well, once you blow it dead, now, you know, now it's dead. You can't review it. That he had in the first half. He's, this is Tameric Williams bouncing off a guy and dragging a tackler out there. He took all the blame, which clearly was not his fault and how things unfolded. And look at here as Williams breaking tackles, finally brought down at the midfield stripe. Yeah, eligible to play in Los Salento and Williams. This is Marshall with a carry on second down, carrying tacklers with him. Look at that run. That's a typical North Dakota State run, moving the pile. Delayed handoff again, no throws here as Williams drives forward close. So far, at least it's paying off this fall. Swing pass here to Bussey. You don't want him in open space. Jalen Bussey is going to find the end zone. It's like a magnet for him for a touchdown. 23 yards. What the Bison coaching staff has said. And trouble, and down goes Kaplan for a sack. Right on cue, Dom. And Ugmu's in there to do it. <laughs> a little Cornhusker fan a little bit, Dom, but um, obviously, you know, playing here at NDSU, I love just the more Nebraska guys we can get up here, the better. And um, Five minutes gone, fourth quarter. They'll go back to him here on second down. Good run there. Gold Eddie was the leading rusher in the EDC. Quarterback, but uh, still did a really good job, and as you said, Won a national championship. A little with bootleg us here. This might have been a broken play, but look at Peyton use his legs hurtling. How about that from Cole Peyton to the 45 yard line? Yard per carry. Third down and two. Peyton's got running room. Cole Peyton down the sideline, still on his feet for a touchdown. The freshman finds the end zone. Welcome to college football, young man. That's awesome. Down, hurdle the guy that's not officially a stat. <laughs> Quite a debut. This pass on the slant is complete. We'll select that coming up before we wrap things up. It's a third down and one is Kaplan able to maneuver his way out for a first down. Defensive player, have that goose egg up. How much do you want to keep that there? Is this play run out there by Darius Lane, running back for Valpo, gets out to the 44-yard line and picks up a beacon first down. Yeah. Bison 28-yard line. Jackson rolling out, slings that one. That's complete. Fit that one in. This could be the final play of the game. We're down to the 13 seconds left. Jackson rolling out, looking for somebody, goes to the end zone, and it's intercepted. That's picked off. Young down the sideline. And the triple zeros are on the board to preserve the shutout. Sam Young comes up with his first career pick. You know the Bison regulars are going to love that. <laughs> For a guy that has grinded on special teams to persevere and preserve the shutout.